Despite Tesla keeping the car under wraps for months, we now have early information on the major changes coming to the best-selling electric vehicle of all time. The Tesla Model 3 consistently impresses fans of the brand with its competitive pricing, high performance, and regularly updated features. Top experts predict this car will continue to excel in 2023. What advancements has the Model 3 made to maintain its popularity and dominance in the market? Let's dive right into today's episode and find out. Welcome to Tesla Car World, where we bring you the latest updates on all things Tesla. Thanks for tuning in, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be up to date with all our future video updates. Now let's dive into today's topic. First and foremost, the Model 3 price has dropped dramatically. Tesla implemented another wave of price cuts across the Model 3 and Model Y vehicles. It's the second time this month, resulting in the electric car starting under $40,000 before incentives. After consistently and gradually increasing its electric vehicle price over the last two years, Tesla is starting to bring those prices down to keep demand up. It started with a big price drop in early January and then some smaller adjustments with the latest coming in February for Model 3 and Model Y and last month for Model S and Model X. We thought Tesla might take a break from reducing prices, but the automaker again slashed prices across the entire lineup earlier this month. When we say the Model 3 is the most affordable Tesla, that doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't cost a lot, especially in 2023. You might recall when Tesla first introduced the EV in 2016, it was aiming to deliver at a price below $35,000, and they did for a very short period of time. But currently, the rear-wheel drive trim of the Tesla Model 3 starts with an MSRP of $39,990 with zero upgrades, not including taxes, destination, or any other fees. To give you the full range of the Model 3, we also priced it loaded with every available upgrade, including that red paint, 19-inch sport wheels, black and white interior, plus the perpetually forthcoming full self-driving capability, and that adds $15,000. So all in, that fully loaded rear-wheel drive Model 3 is $59,490. Now, if you don't want to spring for that full self-driving capability, Tesla offers a less robust add-on called Enhanced Autopilot that gives features like auto lane change, auto park, and navigation on autopilot. That option's only $6,000, which is much less than the $15,000 we mentioned earlier. The Long Range Model 3 used to start at $55,990. It reached a top end of $72,490 but that version is currently not available until later in 2023, so pricing has been removed for this time. Lastly, the performance version of the Model 3 starts significantly lower in 2023 than in 2022. That MSRP is $52,990. Decked out, it can go as high as $70,990 with 20-inch Uber turbine wheels and some other add-ons we mentioned above. Another new sales tactic for Tesla is a separate fee for charging connectors. No matter which model or trim you choose, you'll now pay an additional $200 to $400 for that mobile or wall charging connector. Model 3 prices have come a long way since its initial debut as Tesla's cheapest EV, but you can still save some cash by getting yourself a pre-owned model. Following the U.S. Treasury Department's updated battery guidance, all trims of the 2022 and 2023 Model 3 EVs qualify for some level of federal tax credit. For instance, the standard rear-wheel drive model can qualify for up to $3,750 in credit, while the performance model will qualify for the full $7,500. The asking price for this exceptional Tesla product is remarkably reasonable. Rather than waiting for a car priced around $25,000, why not spend an additional fifteen dollars and get the flawless version of this vehicle? And what's so remarkable about the Model 3 exterior? The 2024 Tesla Model 3 has been caught on camera with a fresh look. Images of the Model 3 prototype were published by the Kilowatts on Twitter while the Tesla was wearing thick camouflage over the rear and front end, including the headlights, suggesting the update will include a noticeable exterior facelift. It's the first time the electric car has been spied with this 18-inch alloy wheel design, though like current 18-inch wheels on offer from the company. Caped Model 3s have been spotted with the front bumper, rear end, and dash covered. However, more recently, the Incognito Model 3 also had the headlights covered. 
The headlight openings that were clear before are now covered in what appeared to be duct tape. A new shape of headlights also will mean a new front bumper. There's been a lot of speculation that the front of the car is changing after recent images show a smoother front end. Tesla is always looking for more aerodynamics to improve the drag coefficient. However, there's another good reason for redesigning a new front bumper. The front bumper will now house a single camera in the center arm of the lower vent area of the bumper. The rear bumper also being redesigned, although it's not clear why, we don't expect the rear camera to change position and there won't be additional cameras in the rear of the vehicle. The new rear bumper could just be a refresh of the car and it may have some cost saving measures. Updated mirrors also joining the party. We're told they'll receive a mirror refresh that will look similar to the way they do today. It's not clear whether Tesla is changing them to match other areas or to streamline manufacturing, but we've been told to expect a minor change. Tesla recently launched hardware 4.0 on Model S and Model X cars, although many were surprised to learn the new vehicles feature the same number of cameras as HW3 vehicles, when hardware 4 allows for more cameras. This is where Project Highland comes in. We can now say that more cameras will indeed be used in Project Highland. There will be three new cameras in all, one in the center of the front bumper as we discussed earlier and two more on the sides of the vehicle. The fender camera housing will now contain two cameras each, one facing backwards as it does now, while the other will point in the other direction. It's not clear how the new camera would be oriented, but we speculate They'll be aimed off to the side to give the car a better view at certain intersections. As previously reported, the repeater camera housing on the front fender appears to be changing. It now appears to include a line that goes farther back than the original. This could be part of the new design. With the new front bumper cameras and the two additional side cameras, Tesla may now have everything it needs to provide a real bird's eye view that's often seen in many vehicles. In order to cut cost, Tesla is removing the vehicle's temperature sensor that detects the temperature outside of the vehicle. Instead of using a sensor, the vehicle would determine the exterior temperature based on its GPS location and the weather data. This could lead to more accurate temperature being displayed, as wind or other environmental factors can sometimes cause inaccuracy. However, owners will lose the ability to view the temperature in their immediate location, such as their garage. What are the new chassis and battery details used in the Model 3? Tesla is still chasing the white whale known as the $25,000 EV. To land that beast, they'll have to continue to improve efficiencies in production to help bring costs down. In 2021, Tesla redesigned its castings from the Model Y so that the rear underbody is stamped out in one large piece rather than 70 individual pieces like the Model 3. Conventional wisdom says that a new Model 3 will most likely get the same chassis revision. A simplified chassis with fewer parts might lead to a lower price, but we can't guarantee that. We don't imagine that driving dynamics would change drastically with the revision, but we wouldn't rule out a slightly stiffer chassis that feels a bit tighter when zipping around. And it's highly likely that any next-gen Tesla model will run on the automaker's latest battery technology. That means there's a very good chance the new Tesla Model 3 will run on the larger 4680 battery that's normally found in the Model Y. There's also a possibility that these 4680s will use the new dry coat electrode tech that Tesla put that in production last year at California and Texas, and it has the potential to reduce costs for Teslas by half. Tesla could pass the savings along to consumers or use it to fund the development of a new cheaper model. We expect battery range to stay about the same or improve slightly in the next Model 3. Similar to Model 3 having Juniper project, Model 3 is also being deployed on a new project with surprising changes. So what exactly is that project? While Tesla scrambles to ready the Cybertruck electric pickup for release, Engineers at the electric vehicle maker have also been working on an update to the car that already exists, the Model 3. That update would cut production cost and boost the appeal of the Model 3. One focus of the redesign, codenamed Highland, is to reduce the number of components and complexity in the interior of the Model 3 while focusing on features that Tesla buyers value, including the display, according to the people who asked not to be named because the revamp is not yet announced.
The revamp of the battery-powered sedan could also include some changes to the exterior and powertrain performance. It will go into production at Tesla's factory in Shanghai and the company's Fremont, California plant, two of those people said. Tesla's Shanghai Gigafactory will put the redesigned Model 3 into production in the third quarter of 2023, they said. Project Highland will ship with Tesla's latest supercomputer, Hardware 4. The cameras themselves are expected to be the same cameras featured on HW4 Model S and Model X vehicles. They're estimated to be 5 megapixel cameras with an anti-glare coating. These cameras are significantly more advanced than the current 1.2 megapixel cameras in the current HW3 vehicles. Furthermore, the new Model 3 updates will increase range and performance. If you're looking for pure power and acceleration, the Model 3 performance will not disappoint. Acceleration of 0 to 60 and 3.1 seconds, a top speed of 162 miles per hour. It will be a dual motor all-wheel drive and the range is higher than the standard but lower than the long range model at 315 miles. The Model 3 Long Range may be the best choice for long road trips and cold weather. It boasts up to 358 miles of range, has a little slower acceleration at 4.2 seconds at 0 to 60, and a lower top speed at 145 miles per hour compared to the Model 3 performance. However, the additional 43 miles might be the difference between getting to your destination comfortably and having to worry about a power station and waiting for a charge. The standard model has an even lower speed and range, but it still does very well. In terms of performance, considering the price, it's the most affordable of all three trims. And if you were to account for incentives and gas savings, this price equates to $31,790. The 0 to 60 acceleration, 5.8 seconds, top speed 140 miles per hour, and the range 272 miles in the top configuration. That's a great difference compared to the long range trim. An absolute scoring feature of Tesla that always makes buyers feel secure is the car safety index. The Model 3 was a top safety pick plus in the IIHS ratings in 2022, a level above the top safety pick. And it's not surprising considering that Tesla has held up to very high safety standards for years, and we're likely to see that trend continue. Tesla's affordable midsize sedan received the max score good on a four score scale of every one of the crash tests. The vehicle to vehicle and vehicle to pedestrian front crash prevention systems received a maximum rating of superior that's above advanced and basic. The only non-maximum score on the overall rating was for child seat anchors. IIHS considers the lower anchors to be too deep in the seat. Overall, the Model 3 offers low injury risk, a tough roof, and great crash mitigation ability. There seems to be a persistent issue on the Model 3 though, just like on the elder brother Model Y, and that's the phantom braking. Phantom braking is when a vehicle with forward collision avoidance gets confused and stops without there being a risk of a crash. Many customers reported their car slowing down and or stopping, which can be especially dangerous on a highway. Tesla offers repairs for those vehicles. However, while relatively uncommon, it is a serious safety issue that will hopefully be resolved soon. So what can we expect from the future Model 3? Much like the Model Y, the crossover cousin of the Model 3, the sedan has been improving slowly and steadily. Tesla does occasionally, like every car maker, announce a big change, but it seems like the company prefers a steadier course rather than surprises, at least with the Model 3. In a recent podcast, Tesla's chief designer, Franz von Halshausen, said, I think that there are things we're always looking at. Those vehicles are great at what they are, and we haven't seen a need or a demand for a change, so don't fix it if it isn't broke. That's kind of the mentality was his response to whether the steering wheel stalks would be removed on the Model 3 and Model Y. Just now, we've provided you with all the latest updates of the Tesla Model 3 of 2023, and we can assure you, you'll never regret your decision to own one of these supercars. What do you think of the new updates? Well, why don't you let us know below in the comments section? We'd love that. Thanks for watching today's episode of Tesla Car World, and we really appreciate your support and viewership. If you enjoyed the video, please consider showing so by giving it a thumbs up 
sharing it with your friends, subscribing to the channel, and don't forget to turn on notifications. That way you're up to date with the latest news about all the electric vehicles. We're excited to have you join us for our next episode, but in the meantime, stay safe.